What's up, Basil Bangs? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banga. How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Yes, the kids like my hair at school today. I just I just didn't feel like the bun on the top. And if it's down at school, it's just too much. It's just like if I'm looking down to help a student, looking at their paper, it's just hair. It just attacks you. So before I get into this video, which I don't know what this video is really about. I really don't <laughs> I just decided to jump on here real quick uh, give this video a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe <laughs> I'm so excited I don't know I just get so excited when I come on here to talk to you guys today was an exhausting day at school it was just exhausting I talked about it on my mukbang with the Popeye's fried chicken I upset myself so much that I lost my appetite while I was doing the mukbang. This is frustrating as a teacher dealing with students, um, unmotivated students, and then parents want to blame the teacher for the student's lack of, and just dealing with the red tape, just dealing with the whole picture can sometimes be exhausting. But you know what? you know what sis today i learned there is only 61 days left to school so i'm like oh, oh joy you got this you got this joy you can do this 61 days it's so exciting not that i know what i'm gonna be doing with my time off you know just lots of soul searching i hope i'm able to do do a little traveling get away by myself just relax read a book but I have all these plans in my head. If any of those things will come to fruition, I do not know. Sydney, I had to write a note for Sydney. Let me tell you something. Her family at church, they just love her to pieces. She's their family. They look out for her. Sometimes I'm like, you know, that's my daughter, all right? Y'all do know that is my child, okay? No, but they love her and, and it's wonderful when you find someone who loves your child as much as you do and um, they, they just love her to pieces. So I had to write a note to have her leave school early so she can deal with her passport stuff. So I will say um, her donor did come through and fill out the paperwork for her, got the paperwork notarized for her passport so it was it was touch and go there was lots of tears lots of crying um but he did come through at the last minute after looking for him searching for him you know we had to track him down he did come through and filled out the paperwork for her had it notarized and then left it at the ups for us to pick up not for her to pick the paper up from him but he left it at the UPS so he hasn't seen her in a couple of years I thought that was a little strange but you know that's neither here nor there she was more concerned with getting her passport so she could go on her mission trip so she is beyond excited and it was just really hard to see her cry and see her hurt because none of us could understand why having the passport paperwork was so complicated and difficult you know it, it it took a lot for her and i know i'm the mother i do know that but i didn't want i didn't want <laughs> i didn't want to have anything to do with that situation I, I really didn't i couldn't call i guided her i did guide her her church people guided her but i was not making a call I, I, I just can't. I just couldn't. <laughs> Look, this was her plight, okay? So I was like, Sydney, you have to call. Well, it wasn't. Well, they did end up having a conversation about where they can meet, what she need, how desperate she was, the begging, the pleading that she did. Please, I just need you to sign it. Just sign the paper. You don't even have to see me. Just sign it. Please sign the paper. This trip means everything to me. Why can't you just sign? So it was a lot of that, and we didn't understand why did it have to get to that point. But, you know, I, I don't want to think for someone else and what, what's in their mind because I did that for years and I, I don't understand certain things. Even in my old age, I'm still learning and, and growing on my own and learning from my mistakes. I, I, I'm not perfect by any means. You know, I make mistakes. I have some regrets. But um, I'm learning to only try my best 
to care for things that I can only control. Just like, you know, somebody, oh, you, you, sh you need to do this with child support. You need to, no, I'm done. I'm over it. You know, my struggle is my struggle. I, I, I have no more fight left is what it is. So I'm going to do the best I can, which is not always the best with what I have and you know if my struggle is my struggle I'm not begging anybody for anything and I'm exhausted with school with my kids and running errands and now basketball season is gonna start for Bobby with the outside league it's just gonna be crazy it's it's just gonna be crazy I, I, I'm just doing the best I can and then trying to deal with my own stuff Sometimes it's overwhelming, guys. Okay, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. But, you know, I'm hanging in here. I'm still going to smile. You know, as long as I got my front teeth, bro. <laughs> the back ones are jacked up, bro. But as long as I got my front teeth, bro. <laughs> and I, I appreciate all of you so much. Even just listening to me and watching my videos. Um, it, that It just warms my heart anyway. You know, all five of y'all, okay? <laughs> you know, I'm just playing when I say that. So, don't think into that. Don't, th okay? And so, so I'm so excited about that. So, I want to say, Connie, because you know this is the Connie and Joy show here. <laughs> you know, and it's terrible. Did somebody unlock my dough? Hello? Anybody there? I locked my door, but you know it doesn't really lock. It, it doesn't really lock when I lock the door, okay? But you know what Connie just sent in the mail? <laughs> every, every, like every day, every other day, several times a week, there's something in the mail from Connie. <laughs> so I got this in the mail today. My nails are jacked up, guys. Don't worry about it. I'll get to them. And that is the one treat I always said I would do for myself. They, they terrible. So anyway, so I'm trying not to show y'all my nails. Okay, so I got this in the mail from Connie. I got the lock for my door. Don't look at my nails. It didn't come with one key, two keys. It came with three, honey. I don't know why it came with three, but it came with three keys. So I finally got a lock for my bedroom. Because I've been noticing, and I shouldn't have to live in a house. I'm not, I don't, just let me say it and just leave it alone, okay? But, I, you know, I shouldn't have to live in a house where we all have to have locks on our door. But we do, and I can tell because I make my bed every morning. I have to make my bed every morning. I just have to. Just like I have to sleep with my robe that needs to be sewn, I'm, I have to make my bed every morning, okay? I, I, I can't leave until my bed is made. <laughs> like, I, I just got to make my bed, okay? And um, I notice I get home my bed, my pillows, because I put my pillows a specific way. And then I have a little teddy bear in the middle. Okay. Connie sent me a teddy bear. <laughs> it's so soft. <laughs> so, so I have, you know, I have everything placed on my bed a specific way. Okay. And uh, I get home and everything has changed. My pillows are in squares. No, I put my pillows on my bed in diamonds. Okay. I put my pillow. Hello? See? Now I'm, free. I'm hearing stuff. I need to put put the lock on my door. Because you can use your nail and just open my lock now. Hello? Child, that's making my nerves bad. And I know Sydney and Clinton are here. That's making my nerves bad. I keep hearing something. So anyway, and I, my pillows are in squares. They, my pillows are not in diamonds. And then the teddy bear is, is facing another direction. No. Somebody was in my room. Why are you in my room? Or I come home and my toilet seat is down. No. So if I lock my door when I leave in the morning, my bedroom door, that means stay out of my... Anyway. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. All of us will now have locks on our bedroom door. Thank you very much. Thank you, Connie. I appreciate you so much. So the other thing, <laughs> I've been holding on to this one. But you know, remember we had that conversation about somebody going in the fridge. You wrap your stuff up with 50 trash bags and you know you shouldn't be touching it. Because if you put it in the refrigerator underneath the produce, and that means don't touch my ish. 
I have the solution for you. It is called a lockbox. Let me tell you, you can put your lockbox in the refrigerator at your job, in the refrigerator at your house. You can put your lockbox in your closet or underneath your bed and you put it cold. Safer storage for your items, okay? And when I go to Popeyes, on Tuesday because it's discount Tuesday and I don't eat all the chicken and there's a leftover piece of chicken or two that I want for the next day not for you you didn't buy it not for you you didn't buy it either and not for you you definitely didn't buy it I don't want anybody touching my ish so I have a solution for that you're gonna pull out your handy lockbox with your chicken inside. Can you see the chicken? But you put your chicken in the lockbox and you put it in the refrigerator. You change the lock here and your chicken will be safe and it'll be there when you get home. <laughs> Now we living in a world where we have to lock up our little snacks and goodies because you have kids who don't pay no mind to what you say. They want to sneak in your stuff or nibble on the little crunchy crumbles on the Popeye's chicken. So now, here's the solution. Thank you from Connie Chow. I now have a lockbox and my leftovers will be protected. Oh! serious I'm putting that right in the fridge I'm changing my cold I got me two pieces of chicken when I get home from work tomorrow I got my chicken on deck at least I don't know put that right in the fridge boo yes so if I have me a little apple and I want my apple there I could put my apple and put my lock right on it don't touch my ish <laughs> look this this should this shouldn't be called <laughs> safer storage this should be called don't touch my ish that's what this should be called <laughs> don't touch my ish I absolutely love it. I love it. So if I have a little snack or something or something that's extra good and I don't want nobody, I don't got to say nothing. Boop, 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 boop. Well, mom, mom don't put a lock on that. That means don't touch her ish. That's what that means. I got the, the snack on, on lock. Or I got me some Kashi Goling cereal. Everybody loves that cereal, honey. And you sprinkle the little uh, granola things right on your yogurt or something like that. Or you just want to just snack on it. Everybody loves that. And it's just a few left. Boop, boop, boop. You on that last roll of toilet paper. You know that is your roll. Nobody else touches your roll because y'all used up your roll. Boop, boop, boop. You got that last bag of chips, and you know, my all of us, we love chips. We love chips in this house. We're not big sweet eaters in this house, but the chips, and it's just like a half a bag, you want to eat it when you're ready to eat it. You don't want to eat it because you know somebody else is going to eat it, so you just eat the whole bag. No, because you don't want anyone to ask you for them. No, you just put it in your lockbox. Boop, boop, boop. Don't touch my ish. Okay? Or remember when I had that Intamin's cake? I could have put that Intamin's cake. Hello? I could have put that Intamin's cake in there. See, I was concerned because my room doesn't lock. So I had to hide the Intamin's cake in my room. Yes, I did. I hid the Intamin's cake in my room. But if I had my lockbox, I could have sat it out on display. Boop, boop, boop. Don't touch my ish okay or well, you have that last few pieces of gum or last few pieces of candy and you just want to save that candy you don't want kids roaming around your room let me tell you i don't care i was a kid i used to look around my mother's room when i was a little kid i don't know what i was looking for and sometimes when you go looking for something you gonna find something i did find some stuff before and i wish i can erase that from my memory but you know if she had her lockbox <laughs> Or if the, you know you have those safety features and that's how kids get the you know the little guns and stuff. You got your little lockbox. Boop boop boop. Nobody knows the code. Okay. Don't touch my ish. 
there you go your little lockbox i'm really feeling this lockbox i think i'm talking myself into a little more this is just ingenious especially when you put it in the refrigerator you don't even gotta say anything you don't gotta say don't touch my stuff this is mine don't eat my don't eat my leftover chinese food you know that's mine that's not yours and then you get home your stuff gone nope now you got the lockbox no, now you got the safety box. Don't touch my ish safety box. That's what you got. You put your little Chinese food, leftover Chinese food up in the box. Your stuff is secure. You're going to have your snack and eat it right in front of everybody's face when you get home. Because they've been looking at it. And the wonderful thing is that you can see through this. You're like, dang, that looks good, but I don't know the code. Boop, boop, boop. Don't touch my ish. That's what that is right here. <laughs> This should be my thumbnail. So, loving it. My little two pieces of chicken. I know I'm going to have that when I get home tomorrow. Because when I go to school, I come home hungry. And sometimes they done ate all the lunch meat, all the cheese. They done ate everything. Don't touch my ish. I'm guaranteed to have my snack when I get home from work. Hmm.